So it's always been a goal of mine to learn how to juggle, and actually, it didn't even take that long. What's up, everybody? My name is Sean Brown, and today I'm going to go through how I learned how to juggle, and I'm going to give a quick tutorial of just how to juggle. All you need is three round objects. They don't even really have to be round. As long as you got three that are relatively the same size, then you can learn how to juggle something. I'm telling you guys, it's so fun once you learn it. Also, if you guys wonder why I'm dressed like this, it's because I just got back from my internship, so don't even worry about that. But the first thing I did when learning how to juggle was, I guess like everybody would do, they go on YouTube first. So I looked up a YouTube video, I think it's specifically Howcast. You really don't have to go to it. I'm gonna tell you how to do it all here in this video, so make sure you stay and watch that till the end. So the first thing, I was back on campus, you know, there was three balls that we had just randomly. They were like, almost like playpen balls. I grabbed those, I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna learn how to juggle because we got all these balls here and then I've always wanted to learn it and it was on my 2019 bucket list of randomness. So don't get too excited and grab all three balls at once. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying these things. <laughs> but you just wanna start with one ball or one object, whatever you're gonna juggle with, and you're just gonna to toss that from side to side just to the other hand. So you're gonna to wanna to throw like an arc, and the top of the arc should peek at it like between your hands. Uh, so when you're throwing it side to side, that's kind of the sweet spot to throw it at because once it hits that, it's gonna go down into the other hand. So just make sure you throw it side to side and just get used to that. So after that, you know, I practiced that. And then the most crucial one, I'd say, is this motion here. So when you're trying to juggle the whole thing is you're gonna do kind of a motion like throw, throw, catch, catch. All right, so you're just gonna use, you're gonna throw one in the air to the other hand, like basically where the arc would be. And once the first ball hits the top of its peak on the throw, you wanna throw the other one also in the air and you kinda wanna throw it, I guess, under your hand in a way. Like you don't wanna throw it right at where the other ball's going because it might hit it. So you kinda wanna throw the second one in the air while the other one is coming down. So it's gonna be like a throw, throw, catch, catch. So practice this motion over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, okay? So that is the main thing of learning how to juggle. Once you get the third ball in there, it's gonna be easy. Uh, it's just like, this is the main motion you have to do in order to learn how to juggle. So it's just doing the throw, throw, catch, catch. Because everybody thinks you're gonna have to do this little pass off motion because with that, you won't be able to do it. Like you're not passing it off to your hand. Basically, once that happens, each time the ball hits its peak, that's when you're gonna throw the other ball. So like, that's what happens when the third ball goes in there. Oh, I think that's what it is. <laughs> Keep your ball to yourself. <laughs> Don't wanna have to tell Kiki. <laughs> So I got comfortable with the throw, throw, catch, catch. That's just, oh, that's a big old wasp. <laughs> so I got comfortable with the throw, throw, catch, catch. That's just with two balls or two objects, whatever you're using. Then you're gonna hold two balls in, I'd say your dominant hand first. And then what you're gonna do is the first ball you're gonna throw in the air is the one with two balls in your hand. I don't know, every, everything I just say with this sounds wrong. <laughs> so you're gonna throw one of them that you have two in your hand with. You're gonna throw that one first and then you're gonna go with your other hand and throw the other one and they're gonna quickly throw the third one in there. And that's like the part that trips everybody up. But I'd say first just start off with trying to get three throws and then catching um, two of the objects with one hand at the end. There you go, See, that, that's the first step. Okay, now I can move that's on. That's the first step. <laughs> so you're gonna throw three times and then you're gonna catch one in one hand and then two in the other hand. So basically I just did that over and over and over again until I was comfortable with just throwing three. And seriously, after that, all you have to do is just Throw another one in there, like another throw, like a fourth one, a fifth throw, a sixth throw. You basically just keep doing that over and over again until the motion um, just feels almost like a cycle. You can stop it whenever you want to, so it doesn't feel like you're actually just trying to add on to it. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all didn't see that, but he almost hit me in the face. The ball was good. Whose fault is that? Are you up? I'm about to throw it too. That and I'm throwing it forward. Yeah. <laughs> and sorry, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, stop trying to hit me. Oh, okay. I don't want to go either. 
We already hit one, that's fine. <laughs> I tried. I kept going. I was like, oh god. I'm counting that. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm just gonna do like a quick rundown of me uh, teaching you how to do it uh, just with me in front of the camera, actually with the three objects, not balls. <laughs> now I'm here, just to, I'm just gonna make this super quick as if like you could learn this within a couple minutes. Cause honestly, this only took me probably about an hour or two. I did it over the span of multiple days, but I probably did it for like 20 to 30 minutes each day. So like, it really didn't take that long to learn. So. First, like I said before, you're gonna do the, just throw like this. And when you're throwing it, you only want it pretty much to go to eye level, maybe a little bit higher, just to get you practice. We're just gonna throw it straight up, have it arc in the middle. So it, like when it reaches the top, like it's gonna be there and then it's gonna go to the other hand. And you're just gonna wanna throw it like straight up. You don't wanna go like over or anything. You just wanna go straight up, catch it, straight up, catch it. So do that over and over until you get that unlocked. You're gonna get a second one, right? And this is the part where I say you go, Throw, throw, catch, catch. So basically, you're gonna throw the other one once the first one hits its peak. So watch, once it hit, once you see it falling down, that's when I'm gonna throw the other one. So it's gonna be like, throw, hit the peak, throw the other one, and then catch, catch. So this is the hardest part that like people don't get because they keep trying to like, just toss it. No, so you're actually throwing it twice. So that's the main thing. So just, just say that in your head over and over, like throw, throw, catch, catch. Because when you speak with it, it's gonna help you do it a lot easier and just thinking too much. So it's just throw, throw, catch, catch. So you wait until it hits its peak. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And you see the second throw, I almost throw it like under. I don't really kind of just throw it straight up in the air because I might clack in them. So practice that motion. I'm saying over and over again. So just throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Because seriously, once you can do this without saying throw, throw, catch, catch, then I think you're ready to go on to the next step. So just make sure you can do that over and over just as comfortable as this. I know it's easy because I've already done it, but you just got to get this main motion down because this is the main one to juggle. And lastly, you're going to get a third one in there, right? So what you're going to do is hold two in your dominant hand. Um, I'd say probably just use like three fingers to hold on the other one and then hold the other one in your palm. So you're going to do like three fingers like that, then you're going to hold the other one in your palm. This is going to be a little hard to explain while doing it, but so you're basically still doing like the throw, throw, catch, catch. You see, I can still hold this one in here. But as soon as you throw the second one, you're going to throw the third one in there. So just try to do three throws and then catch it. So you're going to do one, two, three, catch, catch. It's going to be like weird when you're first trying this, but once you get this, that you did at least one juggle. So you're going to do one, two, three. So basically one thing you can think of also is like when it hits the top, that's when you can throw the other one. You can wait super long. So let's say I wanted to throw it right now. I can do like, wait, once it starts coming back down, then I can throw it. So come back down I can throw it like it doesn't have to be like continuous it can just be like whoop, whoop. <laughs> like it doesn't have to be like super on time so like I said just practice that so just do one two three so just practice that like throw 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 catch catch so throw 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 catch catch throw 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 catch catch and also a tip I have is start slow don't try to like go all like fast like this because <laughs> like that really won't work when you're trying to learn. So try to throw it a little high, maybe eye level or a little bit above your head, just so you have enough time to throw the other one. I'm like, see how, I can go really slow. I can just go like this, this, this. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, five. So you can go like that. You can kind of go like slow. You don't have to try to get it fast, like, <sighs> like that. <laughs> I keep dropping them. Yeah, so once you get that, you're just gonna try to add more in there. So it's just like one, two, three, four, and you're just gonna catch it. So one, two, three, four, five, catch it. It's basically the same concept, but then once you get to a certain point, you're just gonna be able to just keep going as much as you want. <laughs> so that, y'all, is how I learned to juggle in probably less than like an hour or two, so. It's really not too hard. I thought it was super hard when I was trying it, but as soon as I actually like learned the three throws, it got easier and easier. So, and honestly, practice is key. The whole point of this series is just to show that you can learn anything as long as you put your mind to it. 
Uh, for all my normal skate viewers, I'll have skate videos coming soon, but I just wanted to show the series just to like show that you can learn anything as long as you put the time and practice.